If you've heard me before on this topic some months back, I was saying that inflation, I was saying this starting last fall, that inflation would be falling because the way inflation really works, forgetting about all the things that people mostly look at, is that there are input costs that go into the economy that work their way through the system slowly over time that translate later into consumer prices, <clears throat> which is basically how we measure inflation. And those consumer prices have a lag time to them. And we normally think of the consumer price index, which is a convoluted government created index with varied components to it that we can see, but that the changes in input prices work their way slowly to the economy. And the analogy that I used then was like a snake for inflation, was then like a snake that eats too big a rodent and it's got a little bulge in its stomach and it's a little bit lethargic maybe, but it's naturally unhealthy and will digest the rodent and will go on to eat more rodents later. But the fact of the matter is the input costs are the beginning of understanding and the input costs began falling last summer. And the input costs have kept falling and we've had inflation as an annual rate because a lot of people think about inflation not the way it's officially defined. They think of inflation relative to our prices higher or lower than they were before. Prices are higher than they were before in consumer prices, but inflation is actually the year over year rate of change in that. And that year over year rate of change has been coming down uh, all this year. Irregularly a little bit but coming down. In that, the fact is uh, the most recent month showed a 3% year-over-year inflation rate. Remember, it's an index. It's not perfect. It doesn't necessarily apply to exactly what you buy. Some people buy these things. Some people buy those things. It's an averaged index. But here's the magic secret that you don't know about. Whatever you think, inflation is actually less than that index says it is. And here's why. Let me try to make this as simple as I can. There is one feature totally calculated in the way the index is constructed that has little to do with reality. It's a governmental guesstimate of what they call, or what it calls, imputed rent. If you take imputed rent, well, let me just tell you what imputed rent is. It's a number that they calculate for what homeowners they believe would have to pay in rental cost if they were renting their own home. That's what imputed rent is. If you take imputed rent of the housing sector, if you take those housing costs out of the CPI, the 3% number last month dropped out of 0.8. Other than imputed rent, inflation is already down below the Fed's target goal. Of course, their target goal is for all of inflation, which includes the cost of housing as they estimated. But the fact of the matter is that has a long history of lagging the CPI, not leaving it. And so you can tell from that the input costs have largely worked their way through the snake in reverse, going the other way. Inflation's been coming down. Imputed rent and housing sector cost has been what's been holding up the CPI number well above what the rest of it is. And from that, you can see where it's going, which is it is going to be pretty benign. Subscribe to the Fisher Investment YouTube channel if you like what you've seen. Click the bell to be notified as soon as we publish new videos.